Several high profile car recalls put safety in the spotlight. Experts advise taking in your vehicle when you get a notice. But what about those taxis you jump in at the airport when returning home from a trip? Who ensures those cars are fixed and safe? We investigated, and what we found may have you put on the brakes. Row after row, taxis are lined up at the airport to take passengers wherever they're headed next. People paying for a ride expect to get to their destination safely. I expect them to be up to uh, up to code on everything. The safety of the vehicle, the airbags, the seat belts, the whole nine yards. Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport requires taxi companies inspect vehicles annually. And owners must submit certification that it passed the inspection report in order to receive a permit to operate there. But WCCO discovered recalls are not included as part of the required vehicle inspection. That's not good. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> of course, we would never know that. We assume that uh, the licenses that the, the airport provides for the taxi service to be here provides that inspection service as well. WCCO obtained a list of all of the vehicle identification numbers or VINs for approved taxis at MSP. And when we plugged them in to look for safety issues and recalls, found more than 40% are driving with a dangerous defect. So I'm just going to take a quick look. So this says that there is a recall on your vehicle. Tomorrow. Did you know that? Friday is going to be the appointment I have. Fr Friday is your appointment? Yes, ma'am. Your car has a recall on it? Overheated rear quarter vent window switch may cause a burning odor, smoke, or driver's door fire without warning. When your car or some of its equipment poses a safety risk, that's when we can help. A recall is issued when a manufacturer or the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration, or NHTSA, determines that a vehicle, equipment, car seat, or tire creates an unreasonable safety risk or fails to meet minimum safety standards. It's an issue that they've seen reoccurring incidences of a certain concern. Steve Reinhartz is the Dean of Automotive Programs at Dunwoody College of Technology. His advice, if you get a recall notice in the mail... Get the recall done as soon as they possibly can. Some of the taxis working out of MSP have ignored a recall notice for years. Issues range from cars with Takata airbags to brake problems that could cause a crash without warning. That's kind of scary. We ran the VIN of the taxi business traveler Terry Lorith got into. It has two recalls. There should be kind of some sort of regulation that keeps the um, car safer. People. We reached out to the taxi companies with the majority of the recalls. None would tell us how they handle recalls or what they plan to do now that we've brought this issue to their attention. Last year, the airport approved pickups for Uber and Lyft drivers. Their VINs are not collected. The Federal Traffic Safety Agency recommends checking your VIN twice a year. Daylight saving time is a good time to do that. We have information on where to plug in your number at wcco.com links.